I promise you're gonna be okay. Um, <laughs> About the light duck, it's a light travel day. We're just back for part two, Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford. Enough for the chit chat. Uh, let's get into it. <sighs> e and B boxing pattern. God damn! That took the time out to come. I see some white folk out there for sure, but Terrence Crawford for the community and the kids. I apologize. I tried to play you like Nebraska wasn't didn't have a strong black community. You showed me, and I love to see, love to see, love to see. Normally, I do a send off with like the media family, but this time we was just like, let's get the community in into it. And they went to a whole block party. I'm fucking with it. That's how we do in Louisiana. They got a whole yeah. Girl. You got to give back to the community. The girls out there dancing. We got dance the teams. Loving it. Loving it. In Terrence Crawford's hometown of Omaha, instead of the star in Dallas, I love, I love seeing people star. get back to their community, bro. I love seeing how they get back to their community, bro. One last Never forget where you came from. Before departing for camp in Colorado Springs. And where better to host than Omaha's boxing epicenter, the Academy Crawford opened as his career boomed. We what determines where they train at? Like, because it's a lot of what determines where they train at? And Leave in the I comments. I always wondered that. that. Keep from Nebraska. I wouldn't like them to train at home. Two I know you want to with your family and get isolated and stuff, but leave in the comments. What drew me to boxing was I was in a neighborhood fight. What's the name? We're glad you ain't in jail. My mom told me to go to college and try to do something else with my life because hey, that's a I was nice ass dog. My dad, that's he always dog. told me I was gonna be a million dollar baby. As Crawford made the impossible routine, he proved mom wrong and dad See, right. But don't I mistake that in for it. smooth. That's where it starts, bro. If you put really that dream into your kids, if you feed that into your child, or you can get it to anybody, eventually they're gonna start believing. The they're gonna start believing. They're gonna grow into it, bro. Manifestation. Planting the seed. Letting it grow. Think we're growing. Back to frying fish, huh? I might need to get a play. Let me get a play. I knew for a fact I should have been in the bed sleeping until they called me. I swear. Stay in the bed, Bernard. Don't rush. Stay in the bed. You know how it is. I know. Good morning. I knew it wasn't going to be 530. Y'all almost got <laughs> extra 30 minutes of sleep. In order to not just box, but conquer, Crawford built an unbreakable team. And today, Bernard Davis, Red Spikes, Esau Diegas, and head trainer Brian Volmack McIntyre are headed to the mountains to prep for the precipitous climb ahead. Those individuals know the real Terrence Crawford, not just boxing Terrence Crawford. They family. Hi, guys. <laughs> Them the type of people that want the best for you. Bring it in, bring it in, y'all. Come on. We got time, we got to go. When something like this mm -hmm. happens, it's like they accomplishing it as well. Amen. 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 Bro, if you don't have the right people around you, your dreams will win. I promise you. No, we gonna I promise you. And I learned that just with this YouTube shit. Hey, I seen people oh, who I thought was supporting me not supporting me. People I didn't even think was supposed to support me. You know what I'm saying? Right. The support right around me, hey, building. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm out here. I'm doing this. Is I want them to so say I quit. I appreciate y'all all the subscribers, all the support, people who've been liking. I bet y'all say I make you say I quit. Hate me, subscribe and all. I appreciate y'all, man. You really do. I bet y'all hit you in your mouth. I bet you don't. <laughs> bet. Let's bet. Stop playing for you, girl. Right now, I'm battling Aerospace. I'm battling Terrence Crawford. I'm performing with myself. We've been coming out here just to get away. Getting away from all the distractions at home. My mind is shifting from pre-camp and working out to actually the object at hand. That's the reason why we come out here. You can get a clear view of what's ahead of you. 
Make no mistake, okay, he just answered this my question. That's why I didn't get, uh, get away and He can switch stances, moves so like a dancer, on, uh, and those shots, they thump. Okay. After turning pro in 2008, Crawford fought 39 times, recording 30 knockouts, I like and becoming the switch. undisputed super lightweight I'm champion, I like boxing's first switch. four belt holder in more than 12 years. Spence has been on my mind ever since I moved up into the division. The fans and the media wasn't calling for Sean Porter to fight Terrence Crawford when Sean Porter had a title. The fans wasn't like calling the is crazy. for Ugas to fight Terrence Crawford when he had a title. They was saying, oh, fight Errol. You know it. Gotta keep going. my force come. Said I made it this far, I might as well keep going. I train my ass off to be where I'm at. I deserve See, one thing I only had to come fights. out and do with video because they dropped another press conference yesterday, but I did not want to waste time. And, and it this, was frustrating, but I had to, to take a part two of this all I had to get. And another one coming. Because, uh, bro, but watching all this stuff come out, a sport where clamor doesn't always equal fights, 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 fights made. You really see how great characters these guys are, like, the how strong mind, strong will, these fights, fights really move out. They really want you to become a three-division world champion. They're going to take it from this other person. They're about to take it. Out they hands, nigga. Give me that shit, nigga. Give me that shit, nigga. To be honest with you, man, we've been licking our chops from day one. Them guys is just getting us more prepared to step in the ring July 29th. Because this is a fight that we always wanted. Nobody suck off! There we go! Come on! Coming to this fight is like graduating from college. It's like walking across the stage and gra grabbing that diploma. Come on, man. Stop I want to go through the training. I want to go through boxing training. I just want to go through like a, a week, maybe two, not even a month. A month of just like fear training the whole time. And I play football in the so I know I got the strong, the, the willpower and shit, the mental. You know what I'm saying? I ran track all that shit. I'm asking. So I know I can do it. I just want to see these men do it. Hey, one day that might be a blog. I'm 147 and doing what he said. We just finished that seed. And that's fight Terrence Crawford. And I respect him for that. Back in Dallas, back there again, back there again, back there again. We work backwards from his training, so his output has to match his input, especially if we've got to lose. Spencer, like quartz in this thing. He's about to go to the gym shortly after this, so uh, this is just fuel for, for that workout. The nutritionist who crafts his meal plan agrees with Spence's commendable quest. His stomach, though, might like a word. In order to remain at welterweight, the big fish must stay as lean as possible, outsourcing the scales to focus on the stakes. He made a promise that he was going to get all those belts at 147, but as you get older, it's not easy to keep making that weight. What I used to do it should be a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. A bit. And then I'll put eggs and some peanut butter and jelly sandwich. They can't eat what they want. Before I met him they two years ago, water. he'd never had a camp house. He'd be hurting. 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 He'd be it's a huge weight off my shoulders, you know, not worrying about oh, what I'm gonna eat for breakfast, what I'm gonna eat for lunch, what I'm gonna eat for dinner, and just having somebody else do that. I put hot sauce and everything. I remember last camp, I made this bolognese. It took me like five, six hours. Yeah, I was cooking it down all day. He picked up Asian hot sauce. You put hot sauce in the movie? Bud don't like hot sauce. The heat, as they say, is on. Oh, bud, don't Which is hot why, sauce. after fueling, Spence swaggers into the gym. To ramp up for the most important camp of his life. Yo, hold up, wait then, how been patient? You been hating he is raising. I feel like yeah, Terrence Crawford, he's a guy that's gonna go for the kill. Especially if he if he smells hey, blood. Who wants the lights turn on and the bell rings, you know, it's basically it's war time. I feel like that's a legacy defining fight. Just watch me, just watch me like we coming in For a boxing champion, it never hurts to have a takedown specialist in your corner. For today's sparring session, that's Micah Parsons, Cowboys all pro edge rusher. 
A man who admires Spence because he hits like a gun. It's just a different game. No one can save you out there. You're on your own. If I miss a tackle, I got someone to get my back. You know, if I drop the ball, someone can pick me up. You know, if Earl drops the ball, that's over. It's over. While his opponent seeks an edge high above sea level, Spence hunts for hits. In the searing Texas heat, he knows in the big and blockbuster ahead, the smallest mortgage could tip the outcome. It's just a tough real degree gym. Gym. It's old school. School. tactics up You can get through being in a hundred something degree gym, sparring and training once you like get in right. front of those bright lights. It's pretty easy for me. Run it. Jump, jump, jump. It's conditioning. It doesn't stop. It's crazy. One spark, not out to the other one fighting. And it's uh, super hot. He thing. understands like what it's going to take to be successful. That's why he's the best coach in Boston, because he don't try to pamper me when I look like he gonna say I look like I don't care how big he get, ain't nobody get pampered and he gonna critique me like I'm a grown man. Gotta have somebody around like it. Don't shit so shit for me, bro. Real, real. I look like shit, tell me I look like shit. Tell me I need to improve. I don't like it. Social media people tell you how great you are. You ain't got nobody telling you, hey, tighten up. That's how you fall off. That's how you get up there. You go down. I can't shit so shit for you. But if I tell you it's fire, you really know it's fire. Heavenly you Father, we're just so you. truly grateful for the moments that we get to gather together to as family. Bless the school. Bless all the hands that, that prepared it. Amen. 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 So I can tell me right, that shit is fire. I'm going to give it a head. On Father's Day, Spence hey, shifts to the title he's most proud of. Family what man. Came to eat that. Thus the celebration. Relatives, a feast, Errol Spence Jr. and this Senior admiring the life they've built. While pushing Good. towards an epic I celebration, this water in the bed. they've pegged for late July. What's that, red snapper? Father and son, but <laughs> now we're kind of like brother and brother. You want the head? I don't want the head. <laughs> you the whole head. Yeah. The brain, the eyes. I like it in soup. You going through battles? I think our bond is inseparable. Yeah, I feel like our relationship is, you know, right on point. I feel like you, it's super solid, the and it's super genuine. For a brew that's authentic, true to its close-knit core, no less than handmade gifts will do. So Man, Spence's daughters, Violet and Ivy, Ivy, prove nature Man, and nurture, presenting their creations and highlighting like a super fight, fight subplot. Fight Two boxers who value family, 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 family above all. Yo, why you gotta go to work from here? Yeah, he is dirty. Why you gotta keep putting my ass? Now it's the time, bro. And like, like, uh, the thing that I don't like is like, oh, these guys are here to do stuff to cut people's careers. They're not here to help these, these young uh, men grow after this shit. Shit, this shit really gonna demolish one of their careers, lift one up to superstar them. You know what I'm saying? And all that media shit do is to 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 shit on whoever they lose. Oh, you got beat up. Oh, you got knocked out. Oh, you got knocked out. To shit on whoever lose, or you got beat up, or you got knocked out. That's one thing I don't like, bro. I hope that after this fight, we can apply both these men to do what they did, step in the ring, I and hear fight the way they fought, the altitude is and don't great. try to treat them like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing to do but like some little really. problems, bro. Hey, boss. Top of the world. It's not easy. This is definitely this hard work. Than you go through home. training camp and try to Being away from my family, it's definitely frustrating. No, but that's part of Give my job. They flowers they deserve. This man is 39 and 0. <laughs> but it's 39 and 0. I can't remember what, what Earl Smith is right now. Top. So this is what you're doing it for. You need to deserve that shit, too. Every camp, my kids come out for at least a week. It's just so comfortable having them there. It's motivating. That's right. Champions do. Like father, like son. No days off. We working. On Father's Day, got, son out there. got my son oh. with me. Oh, he had a I'm family for this day. Both it's a beautiful too. day today. Why not work out? Why not work out? Happy Father's Day to all my fathers out there, man. Throw it. To be away from them and then to see their face and to have them yelling, fighting, arguing, being in that room. This is what I do it for. When you look at me and Earl, me and him do this for 
the fans. And as well as for uh, both our High fans. and tight. What? Stiff. July 29th. Stiff. Don't see a we'll new trap undisputed welterweight champion Relax, of the bro. world. <laughs> and he's going to be Relax. from Omaha, Nebraska. For years, Home the College World Series pursued right? ideal partners while surviving tragedy and turmoil. Each came to believe with unflinching certitude that to ascend even higher, they simply needed the right opponent. Terrence Crawford, he's a mean fighter. He's a guy that if he gets you hurt, he's gonna go for the knockout. When I met with Force, I'm gonna give you Force right back. That's, you know, a match made in heaven. I'm the same way. It's going to come down to determination and willpower and see who breaks first. Massacre. For Errol Smith Jr. and Terrence Crawford, the final steps in their dance with Massacre. destiny won't be taken until they stand together. Guards up, fists flying. Anything that I do, I want to win it. These champions, having oh, yeah. suffered for years, oh, yeah. were defined by obstacles surmounted. Now, though, it's forward, onward, upward. For those who stuck with them, for legacy, for boxing amid a remarkable era. For both, Saturday, July 29th, oh, marks excited, a pivot bro. point. I'm excited. Soon they'll don dancing I'm shoes excited. and move. dance, tango, boogie. The question is, in which direction? We finally got a future undisputed champion of the world, Boogie July 29. Myself. <laughs> On Saturday, July 29th, Errol Spence Jr. will fight Terrence Jr. Crawford for the undisputed welterweight title. I love the heart of both athletes. I love the way they speaking. I love the way they talking in confidence. I love the way they planting the seeds and manifesting the greatness. I know I told y'all that I would uh, pick a winner on this episode, but I'm gonna have to leave the 50-50 duffel bag. We gone, bitch.